Good morning, guys. It is moving day. We are getting everything ready to go here in the hotel room. We got lots of luggage. Lots and lots of luggage. And still two sleeping children. The big ones are awake, but little ones in there. Another little one fell back asleep here after I fed him this morning. Just a little bit of luggage. Surprisingly though, I think this is less than when we moved here. Am I correct, Dad? <coughs> yeah, this is way less. Minus the pets, because we didn't have the pets when we came. We had to go back and get them later. But this is definitely less luggage than we had last time. And we added a person. And we added a person, right. So this is not too bad to be moving Same internationally. Price. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Now we gotta get out of here. All right, goodbye hotel room. You were good to us. No point in making the beds because they're gonna just strip them anyways. Oh, Kaylin's knocking at the door. Her window. What? I need a key. Why? Hope got Hope took my key and then left this out here. Hope took my key and then left this out there and ran inside. <laughs> Shut that window, please. Hi. All right, goodbye room. Lunch. And some quick food, so yummy muffins and cereal and some juice. Good stuff. Kayla wanted to eat outside with the animals, so <laughs> she's my little animal today. And Gabriel's taking a nap in his car seat. Getting ready to say goodbye to Ansbach. Look at all that fog. There the bus comes. Once the bus gets in, then we just gotta load everything up. I'm gonna get the kids, they're still inside eating. You ready to do this move? <coughs> you look tired. <coughs> Morning coffee helps. That's hot chocolate. Shh, nobody knows that. I do. You ready to do this move? Uh, yeah. I just want Mom, how do you know it's hot one of my toys. I know, finish it? your breakfast, okay? Mom, can I use my coloring thing? Finish your breakfast, then you can use anything in your bag you want. Okay. Gabriel's just gonna sleep through the whole thing, that's okay. Adam and I had a pretty rough night. I think something we ate last night didn't settle with our stomach, so I was up all night pretty sick, and uh, he's pretty sick this morning, so it's gonna be a rough couple of hours, but hopefully we get to feeling better, and hopefully the kids don't get sick, but we're pretty, we're pretty sure it's something we ate yesterday, and only him and I ate it, so. If that's the case, they won't get sick, but it's just making this morning a little rough. Poor daddy. You ready to get off the bus? Start getting the pets in the bags. Okay. You guys just worry about We are off. here at the airport. We're getting off the bus. Trip number one. We don't have enough people to take it all in, in one trip, so this is the first load. Bus driver's being kind enough to help us take one cart, but dad's got to stay with the animals because we have one more cart and the animals. You putting bumper cards back here? Uh, she's trying to because she put the car seat on mine, so I have to stop and fix it. Oh, I don't <laughs> hear. Dad just put it in the car seat. It's been a few hours with a couple of hiccups. This is always the problem we've had every time we fly with the Air Force. Um, military likes to make you fly on the Air Force planes, but the problem with that is the flights aren't guaranteed, and so they can cancel them if it's not mission essential or whatever, but they had us booked on a flight that was supposed to take off today at 3.30. When we get here and they tell us they've canceled the flight and now the flight's not gonna depart until 6 a.m. tomorrow, so we're waiting to hear what's gonna happen. Um, we're supposed to be having a brief here in about an hour to give us some more information about what we do for the night. But unfortunately that messes up our connecting flight and uh, picking up our vehicle. 
it's a big crazy headache, but you know, it's nothing we can do to control it, so no reason to get flustered or frustrated about it. So we're just sitting around waiting for this brief to see what our next steps are. Well, we are over at the BX to grab a few things for the animals since we have to stay the night here. It looks like the airport didn't expect the delay until last minute, so they're going to put everybody up in some lodging for the night. So we're going to end up staying the night here instead of in Baltimore. It is what it is. We can't change the fact. But Adam is waiting to call our local travel agency. Where That's the South Port. Holy crap, I, I forgot this place was this big. I want to walk. I want to walk. No, ma'am. So Adam has to call the local travel agency that we have to book all of our stuff through um, here in about an hour or two and get some final flight information for our change in connecting flight and then what we're going to do in Atlanta, which is our final destination. But I. I actually forgot how big this place is compared to our local PX and Ansbach. Holy moly. Look at this place. Why do you want that to write on skin? I was going to give her an orange, a yellow, a green mustache, but it doesn't. Oh. Hope passed out and Dad wants to torture her. I love that she sleeps with her eyes open. It's kind of creepy, like she's awake, but she's not. Look at her. She's asleep too. Watch. <laughs> Do we have a dry erase marker? No. Here's these munchkins. Do you, Do you and daddy. You'll get a confirmation washable. in your email. Washable right on it. Don't tell her. Walk away because she's going to know. Sisters can be so mean to each other. <laughs> Where's she going? Hope. Where are you going? <laughs> Hold on, we gotta get her. Where's she going? <laughs> Mustache. Caitlin, no more, no more, because you're gonna have a marker on your clothes. Go into the bus. We are headed to the bus that's gonna take us to the hotel for the night. We were able to chuck most of our check bags, all but one. We kept one back so everybody has a fresh pair of clothes and all their hygiene stuff for the morning. Go ahead, go ahead, Alexa. So we have one bag that has that stuff in it and then of course all the carry-ons and then the pets. So we're heading to the bus to get to, to then head to the hotel. Two hours or so I think since I last filmed we are actually over at the hotel now these two are trying to catch a few shut eyes in the bed here but we got 
three rooms just like this one, so they have two beds apiece because um, it was last minute booking so they had to just give the airlines you know what was available but we're gonna head down and do dinner here in a few minutes the airline is covering dinner for us tonight as well as the room so we're gonna head down the dinner is at six o'clock so we're gonna head down and do that in a few minutes and then we're probably gonna get some shut eye because we have to get back on the bus that's gonna shuttle us back to the airport at 1 30 in the morning and so it's just going to be kind of a really crazy night. So I'm hoping everybody can grab a few hours of shut eye this afternoon or eat late, later evening after dinner because we have to be up probably at like midnight to start getting everything packed up again. Good thing is we were able to check most of our luggage. I think I already said that. So there's not, we don't have a lot of stuff with us at the hotel, but we're going to go get dinner. You ready? Yeah, ready. No, you just want to just lay in bed all day? Me too. I want to lay in my bed and fall asleep. This bed's soft. All right, we're going to go meet the rest of the family for dinner. Let's go see what Dad and Alexa are doing. Okay, I'll put it on the charger. Rawr. You two ready for dinner? She's got her socks and shoes on. Okay. Dad and Alexa are in this room with Maverick? Yeah, and Maverick's not coming. All right, you get your socks and shoes on. Come out in the hallway when you're done, okay? Okay. But Mom, can Pepper come come to dinner? All right, last room. Let's go check on Kaylin. Originally, I was going to be hoping Kaylin in here, um, but I, and the cat. Um, I'm not sure how... Hope said she might want to lay in that room with me. I don't want to carry the way. I'm her. You I'm coming? I'm just, just uh, turning off my alarm. Let's check out your room. It messy because the cat. Oh, yeah. Blame the cat. Yeah. Oh, so the here's Kaylin and the cat. Oh, there he is. Hi, Patton. No, the cat came out earlier. Shh. I blow dried his okay. fur. Shh. There's Patton. He's a little freaked out from everything that's going on, so he's been hiding at every place we are, but. I think he'll do okay once we get to the States and we get settled. It's a little, you know, kind of rough, rambled and shuffled on everybody. Bye, Moves are stressful for everybody, even pets. So we're going to go do dinner. Well, we had dinner. We're back in the room. I got a shower. Dad got a shower. Kaylin got a shower. And I um, hope Gabriel and Alexa will probably shower tomorrow night. I'm just getting Gabriel fed, and then we're going to try to catch a few hours of sleep before we actually be up at midnight to start packing everything up and be down and ready for the bus at 1.30 in the morning. So we're going to go ahead and call it a night for the vlog. Thank you guys for checking in with us again today. Today didn't go quite as planned as we had hoped, but it's kind of out of our control. So we're just going with the flow. But if you liked this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. We'd love to have you join us, and we will check in with you again tomorrow bright and early. Bye!